I'm going to be making this um, pin up. Her into a okay. So she's cut out now, and I'm going to add diamond glaze, or you can use another clear adhesive. And I'm going to I want to add glitter to her body. Um, so I'm just going to um, spread the um, diamond glaze on her torso and I squeeze a little and then I just spread it around with the tip of, of it without squeezing more because it um, uh, comes out kind of fast for me so um, I like to have more control by just applying a little at a time and then spreading it around. If I have a different technique, that's fine. Um, I'm not the be, a, be all end all um, by any means. Okay, so if you see any um, bubbles or anything, you just you can pop them or, or fill them in or whatever. So, um, obviously you can see that I haven't really cleaned up lately in here or even rinsed out my tray or whatever. Shame, shame. Uh, that's the way it goes. Alright, now um, I found on eBay, um, I think it's called... Maybe Sugar Camp Cottage, maybe is the name of the seller. Um, she had this awesome uh, German glass glitter um, sampler that I bought from her. And so um, that's what I'm going to be using is real German glass glitter. Um, or if you don't care about German glass glitter, there is some really cool art glitter for sale on um, the Bad Girls website. It's um, from the Art Institute of Glitter and um, it's not this color but isn't that just beautiful? I don't know if it's... Okay. Okay. Just decided to shake it on there. Then I... I don't know if this is good or not. I like to press it down a little. Okay. And then I'll just set her aside. So now she's got her body is all a glitter. Okay. All right, now that I've got my glitter all contained in this nice tray, I can pour it into my thing, or I have um, little tiny funnels if it's a smaller bottle. And I'm, for the sake of time, I'm gonna clean that up later. Okay, um, the next thing I um, did with my um, angel is I took my Joann's um, polyester fiber um, that you use to put into pillows and stuff and I just took a little bit of it and um, I took my glue and just made just a little not much of a at all and kind of rolled it and put it on there to make a little her edging a little fluffy and I also did it up there at the um, for the Santa hat too okay and then the wings I took some feathers I took three feathers on each side. I get three different sizes of feathers right here. Well, let's see if I've spread them out like that. I spread them like that on both sides. 
So you kind of get the idea. Um, you know, that's just one way to um, do a uh, paper doll. And as you go around to the other blogs, you will see that some of the other girls uh, have really intricate paper dolls. Uh, the creativity is just, you know, as far as your imagination can take you. So I hope I gave you some ideas to start with. And I hope you have a lot, a lot of fun discovering the hidden artist in you, discovering what you are passionate about concerning mixed media. Just have fun and and be inspired and find that joy inside you. Okay, take care.